Hello. Hello, I'm Kevin. Thanks for your interest in joining Wishpond Technologies. This is just an initial chat to know more about you, what you're looking for in your next role. Let's see if we have a role available now or maybe in the near future that matches what you're looking for. Let's dive in. What attracts you to a position at Wishpond? Uh, yeah, like I, I was just looking at my uh, Indeed fee and I saw that you guys were offering a role and uh, kind of I, I think I fit all the check marks. I like marketing and um, I'm looking for a remote role, so it was perfect for me. That's great to hear that the role at Wishpond caught your eye. So what brings you to the job market at this time? Are you looking for something specific in your next role? Uh, yeah, I decided to quit uh, my old role. Um, I was traveling around the world, the world and I was like, okay, this is, this is too tiring. So uh, yeah, I started doing some traveling and now I'm back. That sounds like quite an adventure. Welcome back. In your next role or company, what kind of work environment are you looking for? Uh, something super busy. Uh, I like to, to always be in the mood. Uh, I like challenges and um, I like to work with great teams. It sounds like you thrive that you know like in a fast-paced environment and enjoy challenges. At Wishpond, we value a dynamic atmosphere where employees are constantly learning and growing. Our team is dedicated to creating innovative marketing solutions for our clients. How do you feel about collaborating with a team to tackle exciting projects in the marketing space? Yeah, that sounds great. I'd, I'd love to, to meet the team and work with them. That's fantastic to hear. Collaboration is key to success. By the way, do you speak any other languages besides English? Oh, yeah. Now that you mentioned, uh, you know, you can probably get from my accent that I speak uh, Spanish. That's awesome. I also speak Spanish. Tengo un gato en mis pantalones. That's great to hear you speak Spanish. Just so you great. know, at Wishpond, we're a fully remote company, so you have the flexibility to work from anywhere. While we value work-life balance, we also take on challenging projects that sometimes require putting in extra hours. How do you feel about a role that provides both flexibility and exciting opportunities that may come with some additional work hours at times? Uh, I think that's great. Like, I think that's fine. I have no problem putting, putting hours when needed. Um, I, ha I like uh, work-life balance, but I'm not scared of putting time when, when needed. That's great to hear that you're open to putting in extra hours when needed. Work-life balance is important, and it's great to hear you're willing to go the extra mile when required. By the way, what qualities are you looking for in a manager? Do you prefer someone who offers a lot of support and guidance, or do you prefer more autonomy and space to work independently? Well, I've been, I've been working remote for a while, so I, I quite like independence. I, I like a manager that gives me a lot of freedom to do whatever I want. It's great to hear that you enjoy working independently. Our team at Wishpond values autonomy and trusts our employees to take ownership of their work. When would be your ideal start date if everything aligns correctly for you? Um, I'd like to do a couple of more trips, so probably a month from now. Got it. Taking some time off before starting a new role sounds like a great plan. We can discuss a start date that aligns with your availability. When it comes to salary expectations, we aim to offer competitive compensation packages that reflect the skills and experience of our team members. Do you have a specific salary range in mind that you're looking for in this role? Yeah, uh, probably a range of 30,000 to $5 million. That's quite a range. It's always good to have a sense of what you're looking for. Do you have any holidays planned for the next year or other commitments that we would need to schedule around? Um, just Christmas. I think Christmas, I'll take, I like to take some time off. It's great that you have some time off planned for Christmas. It's important to take breaks and recharge. Like, do you happen to know anyone who currently works at Wishbond or has worked here in the past? Just curious. Nope. nope. Don't have anyone. That's totally fine. We always appreciate referrals, but not a requirement. In terms of experience, our team values, you know, diverse backgrounds and perspectives. Can you share with me how many years of experience you have in marketing? Uh, three years, probably around three years. With three years of marketing experience, you must have managed quite a few projects along the way. 
How many clients or projects have you handled simultaneously in your previous roles? Oh, no, I only manage, um, like I was working for one, one for an e-commerce company, so not quite manage uh, a, a team of, of clients, just one, one big company. Got it. Focusing on one big company must have its own unique challenges. I see you've had experience, you know, working for an e-commerce company. How about working with international clients in your previous roles? What was your experience like with that? Yeah, this this e-commerce was an international um, international company. Working for an international e-commerce company sounds like an exciting experience. Dealing with different cultures and markets must have been a great learning opportunity. Now, when you were working in your past roles, what marketing tools were you using to support your work? Uh, Shopify, of course, Wishbone, um, and uh, a lot of ChatGPT. I, I, I'm obsessed with ChatGPT. It's great to hear that you're familiar with Shopify and chat platforms like Wishbone, and it's totally understandable to be obsessed with trying new things to help your work. Could you tell me more about the digital marketing platforms and software you have experience using besides Shopify and chat platforms? Uh, well, I've, I've done a lot of CPC um, as well. So like I know the ads, Google ads, Facebook ads, um, yeah. It's great to hear that your experience with CPC and Facebook ads, they're definitely valuable tools in the digital marketing world, apart from Facebook ads. Which other PPC platforms have you worked with in the past? Uh, yeah, Google, Google, like I, I use Google Ads. Great to know you have experience with Google Ads as well. Are you also familiar with what's considered a good click-through rate, CTR, when running PPC campaigns? Uh, yeah, um, I'd probably say like around 10% is a good, C, uh, a good C, CTR. That's a great CTR, I would say. A high click-through rate CTR with no conversions could uh, indicate that the ad is attracting the wrong audience or the landing page is not optimized for conversions. To you know, improve this, it's important to ensure that the ad copy clearly matches the landing page content and that the landing page has a clear call to action and is user-friendly. Uh, additionally, refining audience targeting can help um, ensure that the right people are clicking on the ads. Do you have experience with optimizing landing pages for better conversion rates? Yeah, I, I, I totally have. Um, yeah, I think what you say, it's, it's right. Like you have to have a clear CTA. Uh, the page has to load fast. Uh, the ad has to be relevant. Whatever you say on the ad has to translate to whatever you say on the landing page. Um, it's, it's good practices. Absolutely. Ensuring a clear call to action CTA on the landing page and maintaining consistency between ad copy and landing page content are indeed crucial practices for optimizing conversion rates. Do you happen to know what might be the issue if you have a really low cost per click CPC, but a high bounce rate on your website? How would you go about diagnosing and addressing this particular challenge? That's a good question. I would say in this case, so someone that has high bounce rate and low uh, click click through click, uh, CPC, probably you you have a really broad audience and the ad is like you know win like pretty broad but exciting. But when you click on it, you realize that the the ad itself the landing page has not a lot of match. Um, they would try to match it, but maybe at some point your audience is not the best one, and the ad might not also be the the best one either. Absolutely. It sounds like you have a good understanding of the importance of aligning your target audience with your ad creatives to improve CPC and engagement rates. When it comes to refining audience targeting for better ad performance, what strategies do you typically employ to reach the right audience and improve campaign results? Um, a lot of A-B testing. I A-B test a lot of campaigns to see which one performs better. When conducting A-B testing or split testing, it's important to identify key metrics to track performance and determine the winning variation. What do you consider to be your biggest marketing asset when it comes to optimizing campaigns and achieving your business goals? Um, I 
I don't. I think my biggest asset is not CPC. I, I know CPC and I can do a good uh, campaign, but mostly uh, anything that has to do with viral marketing, like how to get people to talk about you. I think that's that's where I get my dopamine um, here in my brain. It's great to hear that viral marketing is where you find your passion and excitement. Creating engaging campaigns that generate buzz and get people talking can definitely be rewarding. Now, I'd love to hear more about how you've successfully implemented viral marketing strategies in the past. Do you have any specific examples or experiences you can share with us? Additionally, is there anything specific you'd like to know about how we approach marketing at Wishpond? Um, well, I, I like to use YouTube a lot. I think shorts are doing really, really well. Um, it has to be engaging. And I think there's the, the thing with online marketing, the viral marketing, there is not you have to try different things. 90% of them are not going to work. And then you just have to, you have to pray to the algo, algo uh, gods, to the YouTube gods to, to go viral. Like it's, it, it doesn't, it, it's something that you don't really control. I see what you mean about the unpredictability of viral marketing on YouTube. It can be a hit or miss. And sometimes it's up to factors beyond our control. Given your interest in engaging short-term strategies on YouTube, how do you approach ensuring your content is captivating and drives immediate results? Do you have any other questions you'd like to discuss or anything else you'd like to share about your marketing approach? Um, do I have any more questions? Um, not really. Maybe, uh, you know, how long have you been working at Wishbone? I understand why you'd ask that. Uh, Wishpond Technologies was uh, founded in 2023, but we officially launched our product in February 2024. If you have any other questions in mind, feel free to ask. Um, uh, so what else can you say in Spanish? Do you speak Spanish? I can understand Spanish, but I primarily communicate in English to ensure a clear understanding during our conversations. If you have any other questions or something else you'd like to discuss, feel free to let me know. Uh, no, uh, what, what are the next steps, I guess? Let's schedule a follow-up call to discuss potential opportunities. Looking forward to it. Okay, um, so yeah, I don't have any questions. No problem at all. If you have any questions in the future or need further information about Wishpond, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you for your time today. We'll review our conversation and be in touch soon. Have a great day. So that's pretty much the entire demo. Uh, it did a couple of really weird things. Um, there was a user error because I have two questions regarding the marketing tools that they use. There is also a little bit of weirdness in terms of like pushing me to answer something like it was, it was a little bit a little bit hard to answer. Um, also, in contingencies, you can actually have kind of things that knowledge base doesn't fully cover. So something that is more direct that you actually need to have more control. And you can see here how the agent has been um, configured. Um, company name, Wishbone, product name, Wishbone interview. The agent is the the position, I don't know if that's a good word. It's uh, more like the role in the company. So it's someone who's doing an interview, category camp, uh, marketing software. Something that I don't like is that you ask, for instance, um, how, why do you want to work at Wishbone? And you answer, it's like, I like a uh, fast work environment. And the AI goes and says, oh, I see that you like a fast work environment. Like uh, that's getting a little bit annoying for my for my liking. Um, everything else seems to be quite straightforward. Um, intro, I try to follow as close as I can. The, the cat on my pants was, was really funny. And yeah, that's it. I think the product is solid. Uh, it's fully working and we're gonna start using this for the first interview. I think it's, it's almost there. And yeah, this is one of the ways you can actually use sales closer. We have demos for cold calling, which you know is not the best uh, for inbound calling. 
uh, for interviews and also for doing product demonstrations, like fully screen sharing and stuff like that. Uh, this one didn't have product demonstration, but it's mostly for first level interviews. Okay, hopefully we can make HR lives uh, easier with this. Cool.